in February 1999, Abdullah Erjalan was abducted in an international intelligence operation and sent to Turkey. He's been in prison ever since, barred from all contact with the outside world for years at a time. He's been subjected to torture and other cruel and degrading treatment. Well, despite this, the movement he built and the people inspired by it are at the forefront of Kurdish struggles for self-determination and for a multi-ethnic, multi-religious, feminist and ecological democracy in the Middle East. This movement inspires those who are fighting for self-determination, for women's liberation and an end to all forms of oppression across the globe. The Turkish Republic's violent denial of fundamental civil and political rights to 20 million Kurdish citizens has cost tens of thousands of lives, displaced millions and empowered hardline nationalists, religious fundamentalists and autocrats worldwide. It's linked to many of the most serious regional and global challenges impacting the lives and well-being of millions. Occupation, racism, the oppression of women, religious intolerance, economic exploitation and the destruction of the environment. The Kurdish question is an international issue. Kurdistan is divided between four states, Turkey, Iran, Iraq and Syria. It was European powers, including Britain and France, who created these divisions a century ago. And Turkey's ability to wage war on the Kurds across the Middle East is the result of decades of unconditional support from the United States and other NATO members. And Turkey's new strategy is to play these powers off against each other, against other states, I mean, like Russia and Iran, to extract anti-Kurdish concessions from all sides. Erdogan's framework for a political solution to the Kurdish question could end a century of war and oppression in Turkey and neighboring countries. When Erdogan is free, to participate in the political process to resolve the Kurdish question and to continue to develop his ideas, the result will be more freedom and more peace for all of us. Unfortunately, the authoritarian leadership in Turkey, however, knows this only too well and greatly fears such a scenario. And so with the support of the international community, Turkey has kept Ejelan in isolation for nearly three years in order to maintain its hold on power and prolong its endless war. In Ejelan's last conversation with his lawyers, which occurred in 2019, he said that he could solve the Kurdish question in a week, given the chance, and that he developed his ideas for political solution to the Kurdish question even further since the Turkish government last abandoned peace talks. Well, we're more concerned about Abdullah Erjalan's safety, security and well-being more than ever before. Isolation is an internationally recognised form of torture. Mm. This situation is clearly unsustainable. And for this reason, we make the following demand. And that is that Kurdish leader Abdullah Erjalan be allowed to meet with his lawyers and family and that he ultimately be free on the conditions that allow him to play a role in finding a just and democratic political solution to Turkey's decades-old Kurdish question. Thank you.